Morning everybody, uh, hope you're alright, nice bright morning. Uh, I said yesterday I wanted to do something different today, I've been trying to find some sort of good news story but there's, there's very little to find other than the, the coverage of the Queen unfortunately. Um, but I just wanted to do a little bit I suppose on, well it's not really a good news story because it's on, based on what's happening in Ukraine, wars cannot be a good news story. but a positive that looks to be coming out of the war, uh, which is a, a decent talking point, is that Ukraine have uh, had this fantastic um, push forward, um, gaining something like 6,000 square kilometres of land since September. I mean, uh, that's amazing, because uh, I think we all thought at the beginning, what could you Ukraine do against the might of the Russian state, you know, massive, uh, and I think they've shocked us all. But I think, like in most wars, um, it's like you look at Afghanistan and Vietnam over the years, people that are fighting for their homeland against an aggressor, someone that wants to invade and take over. Um, those people seem to be able to fight. It was evident uh, America got its ass kicked in Vietnam, the Russians got their ass kicked in Afghanistan. You'd have thought they'd have learned the lesson, wouldn't you, really? But anyway, I think as a good talking point, let's hope that what Ukraine have done and achieved will bring the war to an end, in, in, or help to bring the war to an end. Um, I mean, that's no, no way certain. Um, I think even even Russian media are, are admitting that Russia are you know basically getting their ass kicked. Um, a good question: Will this would this make the Russian people rise up against their own leader Putin? Um, the man's evil is terrible. Man, would the people be brave enough to do it? Who knows? Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, but when you look what Ukraine have gained, they've gained lots of uh, military equipment, tanks, artillery, weapons, ammunition um, that'll that they'll be able to utilise against against them. Uh, it further in, in a, a, a another mass push. Let's hope they get right through to the Russian border because. While I've been a peace activist all my life, I do acknowledge that there are sometimes war is necessary. You know, I think, let's say, the Spanish Civil War was necessary. Um, the second, the the Second World War was necessary. I think the First World War should never have happened. It was, a, it, it, but this is this is the situation we're in, and I I, I would really like to see Ukraine. Um, keep pushing on and be able to completely liberate their country and have their have their country back uh, and hopefully the damage to Russia stops will stop Putin ever again being an aggressor. Um, I know it's a bit of an odd news, <laughs> odd good st news story when, you, when you're talking about a war but there wasn't much else I could find. I just wanted, I just wanted to uh, talk about something different to to what's going on here in Britain with the death of the Queen, etc. Bit of a change of subject. Um, and the problem being these days, the news seems to be littered with nothing but bad news. It's, I mean, I remember as a kid when you used to watch the news, particularly local news as well, you, you would also have at the end, uh, there would also be a good news story at the end. I sometimes think good news doesn't sell as well as bad news, unfortunately, but that's the world we live in. Anyway, I just wanted to report on that a little bit this morning, so yeah, solidarity with Ukraine and, you know, let's hope they'll win. Take care, everybody.